What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we will learn how to install the WinLator emulator on an Android phone. Guys, I hope you can see I'm playing GTA 5 on my Android phone with decent FPS and the best graphics quality. You might be thinking I'm kidding, but believe me, it's not a clickbait. I also tried Resident Evil 3, Mafia 2, Far Cry 3 and GTA 4 using the WinLator emulator. For your kind information, my device has just an entry-level chipset anyway i can run these games with high definition and the average fps is 40 to 60. in this step-by-step -step tutorial i'm going to guide you how to install the winletro emulator settings and best configuration control customization at the last how to manage pc games and install them on the winletro emulator you can say it's a a to z tutorial my humble request is that please don't skip the video and follow my instructions carefully please like like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. Before we get started, please see the minimum system requirements it needs to run on your device. Make sure you have Android 10 or higher, at least 4GB RAM, 8GB RAM is most recommendable, 4GB storage on your Android device for system files. If you have a Snapdragon chipset that's very good, but no need to worry because Mali and other chipset are also supported. Now let's dive into the installation process, head over to the WinLator download page, you can check description for the direct link on the github page scroll down here we will get option for winletter 5 currently winletter 5 is the latest version which is around 81.6 megabyte sometimes this site doesn't load the github page that's why i suggest you to join our discord server i have given the direct link in the description just click on winletter 5.0 apk and immediately it will start downloading the winletter emulator it's a small apk so it will may take rough three to four minutes to complete the download after downloading the file install the application now let's launch the winletter at first we have to give permission so that winletter can get access to our phone storage just click on the allow button after that it will say unable to find the obb image file in the previous version it forced us to download the obb and install it manually but winletter 5.0 has the option to download the obb that's a very good feature they added so we don't need to download the obb just click on the ok button to, to download the obb image file you can see it's downloading the obb the file contains the necessary components to run this application it will take roughly 10 to 15 minutes depending on the internet speed so i'm first forwarding the video pressing the plus icon at the top right corner gives you all these properties to configure the win letter firstly give the name of the container to identify it you can set the resolution size under the option of screen resolution. I'm selecting my native screen resolution 1280 into 720 but you can go up to 1080p. If you experience lagging or struggling to boot, come back to the settings option and use the smaller screen size. The next option is graphics driver. Right now graphics driver have few renderers but the most recommendable is Tiny Plus Zing and Virtual GL. If your device has as a Mali GPU, you should use the Virtual GL and if you are using a Snapdragon, use Tiny Plus Zinc, which is much much better than Virtual GL, also helps to run high configuration games. The next option is DX Wrapper, here you can select the Wine D33 is for OpenGL and DXVK belongs to the Vulkan. I'm going to use the Wine D3D 8.14 which is the latest version. You can also try other version and see which one gives you better experience. No need to change the audio driver, just leave it as default. Tick on show FPS if you want to see the real time FPS during gameplay. Here you can set the processor affinity or CPU cores. If your device has octa-core processor, you can select 
6. If your device has 6 core, then select 4. You can select all the available cores for the maximum performance. Theme is the new feature that is added in the WinLetter 5. You can set light or dark theme and you can also change the background color. This feature is really cool. The next option is CSMT which means Command Stream Multi-Thread. Just keep it enabled. Another option of a GPU. There are a few GPU drivers available but for new and highly required games you can select the GT x 1040 which is a popular gpu for gamers video memory actually indicates ram you can select ram up to 4 gb winletto has a few more options but if you don't have proper knowledge use the default settings when everything is set up click on the tick button to create a container now click on the three lines at the top left corner then open input settings winletto 5 added lots of new features in the control panel let's add a profile which is actually control pattern here you will get control profile like rts 12 buttons virtual gamepad for this video i will use virtual gamepad you can easily customize cursor speed and overlay opacity now click on control editor here you can easily customize any keys you can up scale or down scale any keys you can move and replace the location of keys you have freedom to add new keys as you need i want to give the control customization of winletto 10 on 10 this feature is missing on other emulator like Exagear and Mobox emulator. Now back to the home screen and click on the three dot beside the container then tap on run. Immediately it will start booting. Congratulations you have successfully booted the Windows operating system on your Android device with the help of Winletto 5.0 emulator. It looks like we are using Windows 98 version. Other important feature I would like to mention, on the sidebar you have some options such as keyboard, input controls, full screen and task manager. During gameplay you can change and customize controls. Winletto offers virtual touch controls that mirror the PC game controls and giving you a compatible gaming experience. Now let's install games on Winletto emulator. Before we are going to install any games, we need to place the game files inside the download folder in our phone storage. Because a download folder is acts as a D drive here. Move the game file to the download folder, open the game folder and run the exe file. It will start installing the game like on PC, a shortcut will be created on the desktop. With all preparation complete, it's time to play. I have installed Freedom Fighter on the Winletto emulator because this game is old, it doesn't and require high configuration. If you are wondering which games you should download and from where you will get these games, just have a look on the screen. I have made a list so that you can download this game and install them on the Winletter emulator. So guys, now enjoy your favorite PC games on your Android device. It's very important to mention that the performance and the gaming experience you achieve can substantially depend on your device specification. High-end devices likely to run games more smoothly if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video take care